Hello, Thursday, May 23rd. I should be studying because I have a biology test in, a, in an hour, but I need a break and I thought I'd do a video. Um, in my whole life, I've been working out about 30 years now. I had one injury, <clears throat> I think it was 2001, I had a pec tear. And um, the bench press, which is a big, important lift, I would say mainly for males, um, it puts the tendons under a lot of undue stress and strain. And um, when, it, when it happened, uh, I got a rep or two with the weight I've done many, many times before, and my right side suddenly fell and ripped back, and the, the muscle um, tore. I saw a doctor, I was gonna get it fixed, and then I decided not to um, have that happen. And then when I moved, I, was, I wanted to compete again, I was gonna, like, gonna do a comeback. And the pectorals in bodybuilding world are uh, important in a number of poses. So to do all that work and to go in with one that doesn't look right, um, it sort of puts you at a disadvantage. And time had gone on and basically when I met, I think I had a, a scan done out in LA and I was told that due to the amount of time, uh, they could go in and try to fix it, but if they do and they something happens, I could lose loss of the arm. So never had it fixed. Injuries can happen, no matter how careful you think you're gonna be, um, be careful. It's not worth an ego lift. It's not worth a single rep max to impress other people. Uh, I wouldn't have listened to that when I was younger. I had to experience it for myself, but be careful in the gym. Uh, always be cognizant of what you're doing. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I've been getting some questions. What is this forthcoming outdoor physique? We know it's the third in this trilogy of your books, Hollis, but what is it? It's important to me when I do books that they're all different. I don't like to do the same thing and explore it similarly and just repackage it as a book. That doesn't work for me. So peak physique, uh, at the time I came out of a very bad breakup and it was about putting myself back together and who can't relate to a, a breakup and trying to put yourself back together again. And I thought about not only mentally getting myself together again, but physically. And that book is about getting ready for an event a wedding, a reunion, you know, we all have things that we want to go to and, and look our best. That was peak physique, and I learned a lot through that process. The sequel, Complete Physique, by the way, all of the books do stand on their own. I want to say that first and foremost. Complete Physique was a transformation book, but it was for, for the long haul. Um, how do I keep this up as a lifestyle and stay within, you know, you can't stay ripped year-round, but how can I stay within range and, and live this as a lifestyle. Also, Complete Physique delved into, um, I don't want to say secrets, but various things that I've used throughout my career and life to get into, into peak performance or peak shape. So it, it's a deeper book, I feel, than the first entry. And it's also, again, you know, about um, doing this for the long haul. The uh, forthcoming Outdoor Physique. Now, let me try to explain. And I don't want to say too much because I'm going to wait until it gets closer to the date and then you know when I can speak at the the uh, book release and, and, and say what I need to say but what I'll say is it's not a bodybuilding book but I do want to say I remember going to see pro bodybuilding shows and my heroes sometimes as the years went on they didn't look as they did in yesteryear they couldn't replicate that shape anymore because we're dealing with the human body here and you know that got me thinking I've already done transformation books in the gym what about the sect of people that can't do or replicate how they used to look anymore because we're always changing? But also, what about the people that don't like the gym? No matter what I say or anyone says, there's no convincing them, and that's fine. This book is for you. Outdoor physique is for the person that is not comfortable in a gym or just doesn't like the gym or whatever reason it is. It also is a book that is less concerned with, you know, the bicep measurement and, and more concerned with performance, getting around in life, and how you feel when it becomes more important to wake up not in pain than the aesthetics. Now, doing the workout and everything in the book, you're going to change your body. So the aesthetics will improve, but it's more about functionality now. And I guess an analogy that I use a lot, and I don't know if I've said it in my videos, but stay with me. At the end of Lord of the Rings, if you could get through the very long third movie with all the endings, or if you read the books, Frodo has gone on this quest and he basically wants to go on the ship and go to the other land with all the elder folk. 
he can't be amongst people his own age anymore. He, it's beyond him now. And what I'm trying to say is like, there comes a time where you, you know, it's not about strength or uh, those kind of things anymore. And there comes a time it's more about living life well, moving well and getting around well. And that is foremost of my concern with making the book. Um, I really can't say too much about it other than it's the end of a trilogy for me and it's where I'm personally heading uh, mentally and physically with my body and, and uh, viewpoints in life because we're always changing and that's a beautiful thing of life. Um, I'm extremely excited about it, but if you were to be like, okay, what is that book? Outdoor Physique is a body weight book and it's a book about living well and living better. And you might say, okay, there's a lot of body weight books out there. There are, but I'm here to tell you, I've never seen a body weight book put together the way I have. Because when I do a book, I not only have to be in what I call shape, but it has to be different. I don't wanna be another person taking space on an already uh, busy bookshelf. The way it was put together is different. I've never seen it done that way before. And that's also what makes it work and why I'm excited about it. So any questions, liebman.hollis at gmail.com. More to come. Have a great day.